hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video this is going to be a second video for uh, building the uh, react applications or uh, uh, for using the uh, authentications and we are using the uh, spring boot jwt token on backend and i already show you guys in the first video these apis which we i'm going to going to call on on these applications okay so so far what we built is on the previous uh, video of what we did is on app.js we just added our header and we just add our footer and this is going to be my uh the html uh here uh which is going to be the home html that is showing up and and i also added a couple of dependencies here so the dependencies is as you guys can see i added the axios and react router uh react redux and react punk okay so this is all which we did on first video so on this video so what i'm going to do is let's build a couple of these more components here and let me write the uh, component call uh home okay so this is going to be my home component so i'll just give the name as home uh so i'll just delete this guys because i created inside the layout folder i need to create here in the component i'm not exactly sure i picked a component or not yeah I, no i didn't pick a component at all i'm still in layout okay now now let me check i am in component or not well, i'll just expand this I'll create new folder. Okay, now I can create a new folder here. So I will create a new folder called home. And basically now I will create the our home component. And I will also create a couple of more components here. I'll create a folder here called art. Uh, I'll rename this, make this as a art. And inside the art, I will create a login uh, component. And I will also create another component called register. Register component js okay register component and the home what we're going to do is we're going to create a react com functional component so we have functional export component here so basically this component is going to be exact like this and because we don't we will we will create a routing on app component so what we're going to do we're going to cut this and we're going to paste it on our home here i need to import the header so i will import my header i will import my footer i import my footer okay and instead of this class uh, i will use something called class name of course because the react doesn't like the class on jsx so i'll use a class name okay so on my app i don't have anything i don't need to put it so on the app i'll just put my home component for now so this is going to be my home component and I need to import where the home is coming from okay so once I save it it will show me exactly like a same one uh, okay and I will refresh this I will see exactly like since nothing will happen okay so the first thing let me create a couple of the router here okay so to create a router what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create here a router okay so router i need to import basically it, this is not a router is it should be a browser router that what it call it a yeah, browser router but i only rename as a router just to make a simplicity and i will call this everything from react router okay react and it's called router okay so once i have this router which is browser router here so i will use something called switch statement to do a i'll use something called switch here switch here and switch is also coming from react router and we need to tell that now we can use something called route okay so we'll tell that what route okay so i'll say that exact path if the exact path is been matched with the slash then instead of just go to the home i can say this okay so now it's gonna show me still the home here if nothing is wrong okay browser router it says the browser router is not exported so uh, browser router browser router and i didn't imp import the route as well oh it should be react router dom not react router guys so i'll save this and looks like i didn't even add this dependencies what i added dependency did i miss this dependency i add a react oh i had a react router i should add a react router dom okay uh, sorry for that so 
uh, let me quickly add the another one dependency react router dom so now i might have this dependency of course i will have this dependencies and while it's adding this dependency i'll just go in login and quickly create this component react uh, react functional uh, component export so this is my login component and in login one is exactly i would i would need to use of course the header so i'll use a header here all right and and i will also use a footer which i got it from footer there okay so once i have header footer now here inside here i will go in my template and sign in this is my login here so this is the login html which i already wrote it so i'll copy this and i'll put it here and of course it doesn't like these uh, classes so i will change this all classes to the uh, class name okay so i will save this so once i save this so instead of signing just to login okay i just want to log in or log in so my login is ready so let me go to and create a register functional component as well react functional export component so this is my register component and i will go and sign up here and in a sign up to register it i'm gonna grab the the same one okay i'm gonna grab the same one here and i will paste it here so this will uh, create me oh no i grabbed the uh, sign in one i gonna grab the wrong one did i nope i think i didn't control z control y to show me back everything okay i will save this uh, and i will of course change this basically i'm just copy the template and put it on on my uh, register here okay i'm gonna explain everything what i what i do here so once i paste it so now if i refresh this react Rocker dom i will make sure that i have that uh, dependencies installed where is my package does this react router dom okay is it here so i'll just go in my the home not home sorry app and this should come from react router dom and everything looks good here so if i refresh so now everything's working fine and now if i go to the let me check yeah this is my home right this is my home that's why it's it's showing me the home component so if i say that here the route is different if i say the route is login then i'll tell them to go to login okay so now it's a i need to import this login component as well which i created here login so now it doesn't know where it need to get this from so i will import that login from uh not here components yep components slash auth slash login so i will get this login okay so now if i okay login is not defined it says that i'll just refresh it okay so if i go in login now so it will show me the login here but if i go in home then it's going to show me the home so it looks like our routing is working perfectly fine which is good so another one router we routing we need is a sign up a register okay so this is going to be a register which is going to be sign up of course so i will put the register i will input okay i didn't get the register for this time as well so i need to put a manually here so a register is also coming from here let me check what i did yep register is here so now uh okay so now it's giving a bunch of issue here not sure what this issue is but if i go directly here and register now so it's going to show me the register page okay uh, my it looks like my register what happened is i didn't put my header and, and a footer or oh, this is my template sorry where is my code here so then the register here i didn't put my header and and the uh the footer that's why it doesn't even show up so i will add the header and i will also add the uh, the footer here okay footer okay now now it's going to show me on register page see uh in my register i see say register if i go in a login then this is my login page and and if i go to the 
my home page then this is going to be my home page i know this button doesn't even work so i need to make sure that this is also going to the same part where we define it so now the next step is to go on that one so i will just go to that uh, layout which is on the header so here it is so instead of using this a basically it's just using the href here uh, so instead of using this a i will use something called the react router provide which is link and i need to close this as well with the link and instead of href i need to use a two right and here it's, a, it's not supposed to go to home.html it's supposed to go to the uh, blank, uh, empty if it, i click on the food delivery and if i click on login then it should it should go to the login and if i click on sign up then it should go to uh, re register that's all mm -hmm. okay for a logout we will uh, we will click we will make the event later on so link is not defined so i need to import the link from react router dom as well so so now if i refresh this and if i go and sign up it's going to be a sign up if i log in then it's login so it looks like our router is working perfectly fine here guys and of course we didn't create a logout but uh, we're gonna do it now uh, not now but uh, later on okay so everything looks good all my template has been uh, set up on my react applications now it's time to uh, take care of the uh, core functionality which we're gonna do so the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign sign up page we will uh, make this uh, submit right and 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 submit part uh, we're gonna do the we're gonna call the uh, api to register okay so i'll just go directly to here and i'm gonna go to the my uh what is this sign up page register and i just noticed that uh, my register take only the name not the first name and last name because i didn't add that field on my api so i forgot to add it but uh, instead of using the name i'll just add the uh, name only name okay so now i have a name did i refresh yep i need to add a name email and password and it's going to create the uh it's gonna create the APIs, okay? Uh, it's gonna create the uh, not API. Sorry, it's gonna create a user, and and we are all, we're gonna add a Redux uh, to do a state management for the uh, 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 for this uh, user who logged in uh, for authentication, and which all. Uh, so I'm gonna record that in the next video, guys. This video is and I just set up the router. That's all what I did. So next video, I'm gonna create a Redux uh, store and a reducer and everything and i will also try to uh, dispatch uh, call the uh, the functions uh, call the apis and to, to do a dispatch on reducer so that's all i'm going to cover in next video so that's all for this video i hope you guys like this tutorials and the series and please do subscribe and and like my videos uh, okay and thank you very much for watching bye